Mobile Vinyl Community, it's Vatican here from Weekly Rations and this is a video response to Sean from the community uh, who showed off his 10 inch collection and he asked for uh, some video responses so I thought I'd show a few of mine. I have a nice enough little collection, all pretty old I have to say, this is all going back to sort of mid 90s vinyl so um, hopefully there's a few you'll recognise and a few you won't. First one is Gorky's Zygotic Minchi, Mink Minchi, I'm sorry I'm not very good pronouncing uh, Welsh words. This is a 10 inch on I think it's Ouija Records or maybe their own label, I'm not 100% sure. Um, tune on is called Miss Trudy which I absolutely love. Um, it's a song about their school teacher which is you know, typical teenage love ballad to their school teacher. Um, really nice record. I don't know if you've never heard these bands but they're very experimental, weird, lo-fi, mushroom, pop kind of stuff. Next one is the Ballad of Ray Suzuki, which um, is a kind of a spin off. One of the guys out of Bell and Sebastian um, released at a band called Looper, released the single and album, I think. Um, you can probably hear my dogs barking, by the way. Next one is Red Cross. Um, not particularly a band I ever really liked. I think I only got this because they released a split 7 inch with Sonic Youth, and I thought, oh. And that was a good cover, I'll try them, but I can't remember anything about that 10 inch, so it hasn't really made much of an impact, obviously. Now we enter into a little phase of Lemonheads. It's a shame about Ray from their second or uh, sorry, their major label Breakthrough album. Um, absolutely great 10 inches from the Lemonheads at the time, um, full of acoustic B sides and cover versions that, you know, obviously pre internet you wouldn't have got anywhere else. So this one has different drum Allison starting to happen. And rock and stroll live or acoustic great. Um, limited edition of some description there. This is Robinson being around. This is obviously um, probably the, the best of the Lemon Heads 10 inches, I think, at the time. Has great versions of Being Around, Divan, and Into Your Arms. Um, those Being Around and Into Your Arms are obviously real teenage love songs. You know, every practically every mixtape I made for about five years had one of those on it. And for some reason, I have two, so I'm not sure where the second copy came from. Um, I didn't hurt my brother-in-law's record collection a while ago, so maybe he had it. It's about time. Pretty good with another couple of great uh, B-sides. Rick James Acoustic, Down About It, and Big Gay, Big Gay Heart, which is another great tune of theirs. Um, so another, again, another limited edition. Woo. It's all true. Um, great covers on this. Fade to Black, um, the Metallica song, Live Forever, the Oasis song, and Keep On Loving You, which uh, I can't remember. Some 70s band, I can't remember who that's originally by, top of my head. Um, again, a great 10 inch. And the last one is Into Your Arms. With a couple of cool acoustic tunes, Minnesota's Regrets, Little Black Egg, and Learning the Game. You know, this is all pre internet stuff, so buying um, singles and 12 inches to get bands B sides where it was a big thing. And again, look, two copies. So, anybody wants to trade, let me know. Next up, moving into Thurston Moore and Sonic Youth. Um, I have quite a big Sonic Youth collection. Um, you can hear this one in the background, it's a bit of a, a noise experimental one. Um, Hopefully it's not too loud, too loud and um, overriding my, my conversation. Um, can't remember much about that, it's one of the experimental noise ones. Sugarcane. Great 4 track EP, Is It My Body, Personality Crisis and The End and The End of the Ugly. And it's on blue vinyl and is it a limited edition, number 3652. So great little 10 inch. I mean I'm a big fan of 10 inches in, in the 90s, I thought it was a great idea to like put a four track single out. Um, 100% with album version of Creme Boulet, Genetic and Hendrix Necro, two unreleased tracks. Um, orange vinyl and another limited edition. So pretty nice. This one is lovely. Bull in the Heather. Uh, only three tracks on this one. Razor Blade unreleased and Doctor's Orders an alternative version. But look at the colour on this lovely silver vinyl um, 
strictly limited edition, but no, 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 it is numbered, yeah, 7165. So, nice couple of Sonic Youth records there. Here we go into Beth Thornton. I don't know if you remember her from, she's just back actually recently with a new album, but um, you remember her from the mid 90s. She's a bit of a sort of slow after club come down sort of feel. So, she cries your name with a couple of tracks, Tangent, Spotlight and, sorry, It's Not the Spotlight, which is a lovely song. In fact, while that record's finished, I might just stick it on. So the funny thing, back to Beth Orton, the funny thing about She Cries Your Name is, um, it must have been re-released because I picked it up again for some reason. So this has the same tune we're listening to now, It's Not the Spotlight, but it has two different versions of, or two other songs, Tangent, Safety versus Bullet and Best, but so a couple of different songs. Why I've got two versions, I don't know, but what I can tell you is, I have three versions. <laughs> so I have two versions of I think what must be the reissue and then the original. So I'll have to dig around on the back foot and have a look. Um, strange. So obviously I was buying a lot of Beth Orton. We still have Touch Me With Your Love, which has um, another excellent B-side called Galaxy of Emptiness, which is really nice. I remember playing that quite a lot back then. And we have Someone's Daughter, 10 inch, which is another brilliant B side. I wish I never saw the sunshine. So, all great records, um, great, really worth buying because of the, I think, the B sides. So, there's a couple of duplicates in there. If anyone wants any Lemonheads or Beth Orton duplicates, let me know. We do a trade. And that's it, Sean. That brings me to my 10 inch collection. I think there might be one or two floating around, but nothing. Um, as, as sort of as good as these ones, so that's my mid 90s 10 inch collections, and I hope to see them return. Cheers, Lionel Community. I knew I had another 10 inch Dennis or Junior out there with a couple of live tracks on it, and lo and behold, another limited edition. I think it's on black vinyl though. So I knew I had one for you, Sean. Cheers, bye.